Good morning, everyone. It's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. Today, I thought I would hop on and show you how to make your very own custom stickers with the Cricut printable sticker paper. So let's go ahead and hop into the project. Okay, so we are working with the Cricut printable sticker paper. And my sticker paper is white, but it does come in clear. Um, I keep all of my sticker paper in a zipper mesh bag, and I just have one package where I cut, um, I cut off the front of the packaging, and I keep it in here so that I know what it is. But they are for inkjet printers, and you can use them with your Maker, your Explore, and your Joy Extra machine. It will not work with the Cricut Joy. That does not have the print and cut capability. The sticker paper comes in white. It also comes in clear. And I haven't bought the clear yet, but I could see how clear sticker paper would be really neat if you're doing a bunch of labeling of things um, and, you, and you don't wanna use vinyl, you actually want like a little sticker. The sticker would be clear and your image would be printed. Um, so I might investigate that in the future. But um, essentially, I just use the sticker paper for all kinds of things. I make um, stickers with my logo. I make stickers for planners, um, for my classroom, just kind of all kinds of stuff. So in a project like this, you need your sticker paper, you need your cutting mat, and you need your brayer. We are going to um, adhere the sticker paper to the cutting mat after we've printed it and then brayer that down really good, just like we would with our vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all of these off to the side. We are gonna go into design space first and then we will print out the sticker sheet with my inkjet printer and then we will um, cut it on the mat. So I'll show you how all that works. One note, the back side of this is green grid and that will uh, show up in your selections in Design Space. Just at full disclosure, you will need to check your, you know, your printer settings. How do you put paper that, uh, where you want to print on a particular side? How do you put that into your printer? Another thing to remember is that if you have not already calibrated your uh, machine. You will definitely want to do calibration before you do a print and cut project. Okay, so with that said, let's go to Design Space and go ahead and get our stickers ready. In Design Space, I have brought in several uh, images. I got all of these by going to Images and um, down here, and I just searched for things like Summer and rainbow and ice cream and bikes and mermaids, coffee, watermelon. I just used a, a vague keyword and I brought in the images that I wanted. And then I did a search for patriotic and I brought in some of these. So I'm just kind of making a random um, hodgepodge of stickers. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do when you bring in your stickers, especially if you bring in a bunch of designs at one time, they're all going to be different sizes. Some of them are going to be big like this. And then you'll just have to go through each one of your designs and size it down to what you think you want. And so all of my designs are approximately one and a half um, or smaller. This one's a little bit bigger. I could make that. You know, I don't need these stickers to be really ginormous. I just need them to, you know, be sticker size. And there's a couple of things that we're going to need to do. So let me show you a couple of things. If I were to go to this make screen right now, pretty much everything as the way you see it would not cut the way it is uh, visually on the screen. All of the different elements would be on different cutting mats because nothing has been attached. So when you're doing stickers, something that I like to do, you can just select your image, like I have Summer selected here, and go down to Flatten. 
okay? And what that does is it now turns this into one layer uh, of this image, and you can see all the colors are just the way they are. If you were to, let's take this rainbow, if you were to go to attach, you'll see that whatever that top layer is, that that's the color that everything turns. I don't want to do attach. So I'm gonna undo that. So for each one of these images, I want to go through and I want to click flatten. And what that will do is it will marry all of the layers together onto one layer and maintain the color uh, of all of the different elements. Now, actually, I just thought of something about this little mermaid. I'm gonna undo my flatten. I don't really particularly like the little hearts on there. So when I click on mermaid, I can go over here to my layers panel and I can either just hide the hearts or I could delete them. So if you wanna make any adjustments to your stickers, you need to do that before you flatten. And so we'll just go through, I'm just gonna have those three and this one plus one. Okay, so all of our images are flattened. And you can see that in your layers panel, they say flatten and then they say print and cut. So you would need to click on the down arrow to know what image that you are working with or you could look here on your screen at the little boxes. You could even relabel them if you are wanting to do that for whatever reason you need in your project where you need to see the different um, elements, like what label they are, you could change that. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is tell you what, I don't know where that just went. That was crazy. Let me zoom out and find that, there it is. So what I was going to say is, that we are going to take all of these images. I'm just gonna move them over. And then one at a time, we're gonna turn each one of these into stickers. Okay, so I'm gonna select Summer. Then I'm gonna come up here to Create Sticker. Click on that. And then there's two options. Die cut means that it will cut out this sticker and it'll be literally the entire sticker is cut all the way through the paper, okay? Um, so it'll be separate. Like when you go to a, like a store and you're buying a sticker and it's cut all the way around, okay? Um, that might be something relevant if you're someone who sells individual stickers. The kiss cut is if you want a sheet of stickers and you want them to stay on the sheet, but you wanna be able to peel off the sticker. And I'm just gonna do kiss cut stickers today. So the first thing I'm gonna do, well, let me go back. So the kiss cut is if you want it to be able to stay on the sticker sheet and then you peel it up yourself. Okay, so kiss cut, and then you'll get some options here. Die cut edge, I don't want a die cut edge. What that means is that it'll kiss cut the sticker and then around that, you'll have a die cut edge. So it'll kind of be like a small little tiny sticker, but then you can peel it up off its backing a lot easier. So again, I'm just making a full sheet of stickers, so I don't need that. I do not want to cut interior shapes, but I do want a border. So I'm just going to go over here and my options are a thin border. You can see that there. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. It'll be easier to see by zooming in. There we go. So create a sticker, kiss cut. And then, so your options for border are thin. You can change the color of your border. So, you know, if you wanted something like that, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. 
This would be a standard border. To me, that is way too big, but you never know what people want with their designs. Here's a wide one, and then you can do custom. Now, custom works a little bit like offset. You just change it to what you want it to be. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, and I'm just gonna do a thin border, okay? When you get your sticker the way you want it, you're gonna click Apply. And this now in your layers panel turns to, instead of flatten, it turns to sticker and you can see the little sticker icon. So um, I am going to um, I'm going to change that to summer sunflower. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab some more of these. And we're going to basically do the same thing. So we have their ice cream. We're going to, I think it's probably decent size. We're going to go to kiss cut and I want to do a thin border and then apply. So my ice cream is done. I'm going to do the little frappuccino next kiss cut and thin border okay so here you can see where you've got this separation right here so if i were to go to standard it looks uh it's all filled in but i personally think that's too wide all the way around so i'm going to go to custom and then i'm going to just start moving this down just a bit until I get the size that I want while still maintaining right here, you can see where it opened back up again. So I'm just going to, we're at 0 0.71. You also can come over here and type something in. So if I did 6.5, maybe I could even do six, okay. So you can change the size of the, of the thickness of your border as well. So I'm okay with that. I'm gonna click apply. And then every time you'll notice that in the top of your layers panel, whatever one that you've just made comes to the top of the layers panel. So there's my, my coffee and if they all say sticker, you won't really know what they are without clicking on them. But this way I kind of have an idea. And then here's these two rainbows. Okay, so the rainbow. And let's do a thin border. And let's see how that looks. Have you noticed that when I click off of the image or click off of the um, create a sticker, tab that it goes back to its normal image like it's not so until you hit apply your changes have not stuck so next we have this rainbow i'm going to do a thin border and what i like is it kind of already is because i flattened that as one image it's gonna just go all the way around i'm okay with that one and we'll do our next one grab some more of these and I chose as many stickers as I kind of estimated might show up on one sheet or be able to fit on one sheet because um, once you send paper through the printer you, you can use the extras left over I have done that just have to get a little more creative because it's not a full sheet all right so here's our watermelon slowly getting all of these okay so let's see what this fireworks does this one is flattened but there's a lot of little um like little outcroppings of the fireworks themselves so let's see what it hap what happens when we do thin and 
that's actually pretty good. Now, right here in these couple of spots, um, I think that I want it to be not so open right there. So I'm just going to use custom and see if I can get it. Okay, so there's there is six hundredths. Um, that's a little better. I like that. So I just did that 55 thousandths. Okay, so apply. So I think that one's good. We'll grab this one. Now this one's a cluster of fireworks. So let's see what this will look like when we do our border. Let me move that down there so you can see. We'll go to thin. All right, I think that actually is fine. I'm going to click apply for that one. And then we've got these four left. Okay, so for the flag, that one's already flattened. Okay, so with, uh, when I do a thin border for Land of the Free, you can see this right here is open. And if that doesn't bother you, then, you know, that's great. If it bothers you, you would need to come in here. You could do standard. And it's um, fully encased. However, to me, that's very, very wide. So I think that I would want that a lot smaller. So this is at 0 0.076. So that's okay. I'm, I'm good with that little indention. All right, so we'll click apply there. Then we have our little mermaid. She's so cute. She would look really cute on a card. Perfect. And then our bicycle. Now the bicycle has a lot of things going on, so we might have to manipulate that border a little bit. So if I did a thin border, oh, we got lucky. Check that out. I think that looks great. I'm going to leave that be. I was thinking it would be a little more choppy. And then our sunshine and good times. So you can make stickers pretty much for any purpose. You could label things, you could use for planners, you could do stickers for events, you could um, make just stickers for just whatever you have going on. You could even do outlines and have just the stickers would be outlines and then your kids could like color them in with their colors and have their own little custom stickers that they colored in. That would be actually a pretty neat idea. Okay, so these are now all set for print and cut. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my make screen and I'm going to see how all of this gets put onto the page. So I need to change my material size, eight and a half by 11. There we go. And then you can manipulate how and where you have all of your stickers. I will tell you that you do have to stay within the red lines. So let's say that you wanted to reuse this particular paper. Um, you can like you wanted to use the top half for these particular um, stickers here, and then you wanted to make stickers for, you know, for yourself or something, 
using the bottom half. So you could totally do that because you could turn the paper around in your printer. So basically by keeping my sticker paper where all of the stickers on one end, I still have all of this space here, which I can reuse that later because these will get peeled up. And, um, or maybe you're doing a half sheet of stickers for a friend, or maybe you have an Etsy store and you can have one job be this top half and you could do a different job be the bottom half and you could just then cut down the middle and you would have two separate um, sticker jobs essentially. Okay, we don't need mirror. Now this is the fun part. We're gonna click continue and it says print on eight and a half by 11 paper and we're gonna do send to printer. Okay, when you send to printer, you'll get a dialog box like this. Now you might find that you have to close your Cricut um, screen, like just minimize it so that you can find this dialog box behind it. Mine pops up on top, um, unless I'm using my Mac. And then when I use my Mac, I have to go uh, just minimize my Cricut screen and then I see the dialog box. So I have my printer selected and I, since I'm doing print and cut and I have the offset going around it, I don't need a bleed, but I do want to use the system dialog. And I really like using system dialog because I can tell the, my printer that I want to, for it to do the best quality. So I'm going to go over here to preferences. So I just go down here. All of this is fine. Two-sided, we don't need that. Um, print quality, sorry. <laughs> so we want color and we want best. There we go. So we want color and we want best. And then I'm going to click OK. So I've got my printer selected. I've already told it I want the best quality graphic. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit print. So this is going to go to my printer. And then when I get the sticker paper, I will be choosing printable sticker paper white, not the clear one, but the white one, green liner printing. And that's the one that I have. Okay, so I'll click on that. And I'm okay with default pressure, but just like always, you can click on that little down arrow and choose your pressure. And I've got my fine point blade loaded. So then I'll get everything loaded on the mat like I do with normal vinyl. And then I'll send it through the machine. Okay, my stickers are printed. Um, I have to laugh. So the first time that I printed, it came out like this and I was like, what in the world? So my idea of being able to save the side of my sticker paper is definitely not going to happen, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna cut that off here in a minute and I'll probably fussy cut these particular stickers. Um, but these are black registration marks and that's what's gonna tell your machine that your stickers are here and where every sticker is. These are my stickers. They came out gorgeous. I basically had to go back into my printer settings and for some reason, some random, I don't know reason, it had selected some like tiny little photo cropped sizing. So do double check that you have your regular paper size selected the eight and a half by 11. So I just, I just, it, it printed out like this, so I just took it, laid it down so that it would print out like this, and I was able to recover the job. And these here, I'll just, I'll just cut those out separately. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put these on our mat. But before we do that. I have no idea if this particular registration mark would bother the print and cut. So I am literally going to just cut this out. That way 
my Cricut doesn't get confused. What is most important is that I have my images and I have these four registration marks. And you want to put it in that top corner. This is definitely not the, a case where you would just put it, you know, wherever you want on the mat. You've got to start it here in that top corner. And then I'll just sprayer that down like, like any kind of vinyl or infusible ink. Okay, so that's here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send this through my Cricut. And what will happen is there's a little light and a little sensor that's going to um, kind of eyeball these. And it'll, of course, measure your mat like always. And then it will start cutting the stickers. So I will be right back and show you the final project. Yay, our stickers are cut out and they look great. And the the uh, Kiss Cut did a fantastic job. I don't know if you can see. Let's see, can you see the little lines? Well, okay. So while this was, I'll show you this in a second. Um, but while this was cutting out, I started to go ahead and just, you know, fussy cut these stickers apart. And the only thing about these particular ones is because these are still really good stickers. I don't want to get rid of them by any means. But what I will have to do is you can get the sticker off of the green backing. Okay, so just like that. And then this is what we, this is, um, wasn't cut out by the machine, but this is what a die cut sticker would be like is, you know, it's a single sticker that it's not on a sheet. So this would be the die cut. And then if you did a kiss cut sticker that has a die cut edge, it would kiss cut like these, but then it would cut it out all the way around so that it was a sticker and you wouldn't have to do this business that I'm doing where I have to use my nails. The other thing I've done, and I would not let kids do this, but I'll grab my weeding tool or my true control knife and I'll just peel back the edge of the paper, just kind of pierce it, kind of like you were weeding. So these are just a little extra set and I'll finish cutting those out later. All right, so these are our Kiss Cut stickers, and let's see, these are beautiful. So a Kiss Cut sticker, you just peel it off like that. It's already ready to go, and it doesn't cut all the way through the liner. It's just enough pressure to cut out the sticker. So these are fantastic. I think that she will really enjoy these stickers. Let me know down in the comments what kind of categories and or uses of stickers do you think is um, fun to have. I'm always trying to use my supplies and come up with different ideas. But um, if you're having a 4th of July party or you work with a lot of kids in the summer or maybe a, you're someone who does a lot of work with your own planner like you could just really go to town and make stickers all over the place so there we go well i hope you found this video informative inspiring and that you come up with some ideas to make stickers of your own don't forget to like subscribe and share if you found this video helpful and until i see you in our next video happy crafting thank you all so much for watching today I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.